So the problem says the builders of the pyramid used long ramps to lift 2100 kilogram blocks. If a block rose 0 0.96 meters uh, in height while traveling 19 meters along the ramp surface, how much uphill force was needed to push it up the ramp at a constant velocity? So here's what we have going on. We have this ramp. And the ramp, the height of it is 0 0.96 meters. The length of it from here to here is uh, 19 meters. If we wanted to, we could use trigonometry to find out the angle, but we don't actually need to do that for this problem. Because what the problem is saying is we have this huge block. It's 2100 kilo or 21,000 kilograms. And it's asking us about the uphill force. So it's the force that is, uh, that is uh, completely parallel to the slope. So we don't need to calculate the, uh, the angle. So if we, were pushing, if we were pushing straight in and we were find, finding what force we would need to push straight in in order to lift it up, we would have to calculate the angle because the force, uh, the, the force would be um, tangential. Well, I'll just show you the math behind it all. So, first off, we want to start off by with the the equation for work. Work is equal to force times distance. So, what is my force? That's an unknown. What is my work? So far, that's an unknown. What is the distance? The distance is this 19 meters. I'm moving it 19 meters up a hill. So, work is for, uh, force times distance. So, distance is equal to 19 meters. And then, also, we know that work is equal to the negative of the potential change in potential energy. So what is the change in potential energy? Well, in this case, it's going to be mgh1 minus mgh2. So we can actually recombine that equation to be the negative change in potential energy, which is equal to the work, is equal to negative mg delta h, the change in the height. And what is the height? h is equal to 0 0.96 meters. The mass we're given, so the mass is equal to 21,000 21, uh, kilograms, and G is gravity, so gravity, or um, you could replace G with acceleration, M-A-H, but acceleration is all due to gravity, so gravity is going to be equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. So I have enough information now to calculate the work. So how does that help me? Well, I can actually replace, I have an equation for work here, and I have an equation for work here, and I can replace, I can use substitution law to substitute negative mgh for that, uh, the work there. So negative mg delta h is going to equal force times distance. And if I want to solve for the force required to push that thing, all I got to do is divide by d on both sides. So force is equal to negative mg delta h divided by the distance and now so this negative sign honestly it's just showing that you're going against gravity gravity rather than with the gravity and so it's a sign convention delta h is going to be the total height that you move so we don't need to talk about the change in height we just talk about the height is 0.96 and the distance is 19 meters uh, m is 21,000 and g is 9.8 meters per second squared and you just multiply all of these divide by 19 and the number that I get is uh, 10,398.32, and that's Newtons.